Whether you are a beginner who is about to start making videos or you already are a video enthusiast, this video should help you find the best free editing software available right now. As the app and software offer is growing very quickly, I'll try to explain some differences between them and also guide you through the different possible platforms. I am a professional video editor in TV industry and usually I edit my videos using professional video editing softwares like Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Edius. But some time ago people started to ask me if there are free editing softwares they can use for their projects and which would also be easy to use. So I did my research for quite a while now and these are my results of top free editing softwares. Usually people who are looking for a free editing software do not have an Apple computer, otherwise there is a built-in or can be downloaded from an app store for free and it is iMovie, which is really okay for basic use. It has all useful functions like adding and adjusting music, has a variety of text overlays, cool transition effects, some even look better than in professional editing software. It is available to change speed, even has green screen keying feature and many more. Of course, green screen removal is not perfect, as there are no adjustments to it, but otherwise, the program is user-friendly and easy to understand, even much easier than the previous iMovie version. It also has this cool feature, create new trailer, where you can choose a specific genre and style and by adding your footage in correct places, create a nice looking trailer. Of course, it won't be original if everyone who has Mac can make one, but still good for family use and inside projects. This software also comes with sound effect pack, which is super rare in any other editing softwares. Minuses are that there are not many settings when exporting, but it has full HD and exports in MP4 files, which should work everywhere. Exporting takes a while, but otherwise it is quite fast and can manage HD footage well. So then we go to Windows users, again, our good old movie maker, which has been modified and updated from what I remember back in 2000, when I started to make some school video projects. I think it doesn't come with the new version of Windows and you have to download it, but it's still for free. The biggest difference and disadvantage, in my opinion, with movie maker is its layout. If you come from any different editing program, it may seem a bit confusing. The timeline is arranged in several columns downwards and video window will be on the left. In 2018, I think Windows Movie Maker is way behind iMovie. Less features, difficult to understand, the layout problems and less effects. And the pluses of Movie Maker is that it works on old computers and it is very easy to download. Let's continue with Windows. And if you have a very old and slow computer, there is one totally free program which requires little computer performance and will run on your old and slow computer. It's called VSDC. It's easy to download from their website. They recently updated the software and now the interface looks more modern uh, than the previous, but I was totally lost when I tried to use it. The layout is a complete mess not user-friendly at all. I even watched some tutorials, but I couldn't get used to it. Timeline works the other way around. For example, bottom layer is the one you see. There is no scrolling option on the timeline. If you want to play your video, it opens a new window. It feels like editing with your left hand, sitting backwards to your computer. Or maybe it is just me who didn't want to dig in and really understand the software. Positive things are that it's for free, no watermarks, no trials, just download and use. There are also good features like video capture and screen capture built in. It also has different exporting settings. 
But if you have any other options like to buy a cheap editing program like Filmora for around $100 or you have good computer specs, you can download DaVinci Resolve and hit Film Express, which I will talk about soon. And a quick comment on Filmora is that it's super easy to use all features needed and a lot of cool hip and modern effects built in. In a free trial version of Filmora, there will be a watermark though. Now let's move to something more interesting, DaVinci Resolve. If you want to talk about professional editing software, it is DaVinci Resolve. Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve 14, which originate from a coloring post-production software for professionals, also made an editing software, which is free for everyone. You can easily download it from their website. This software requires faster computer, but it has everything you need. There are different editing modes, it has one of the market's best color editing tools. There is also a sound editing and effects mode too. So basically three softwares in one. In editing mode, you can create many timelines and have handy trimming and cutting tools. I think right now it is probably top five of the best video editing softwares on market. Paid version of this same software contains more effects to make your video look more expensive and they are really easy to use. Compared for example with Premiere Pro, where you would need more time to create that same effect without a plugin. So sometimes in your free version you will get a message about the limitation of some effects and they will offer you to buy it or continue free version. So basically this limitation is only on effects and will not affect your basic editing, which is our main goal, edit for free. DaVinci Resolve supports almost all video formats, sometimes even I use it when Premiere Pro is failing. And it also exports to many formats. It would be a bit difficult for a beginner to use this program for start, but with many tutorials online it should be not a problem. If you have a powerful computer, DaVinci Resolve is for you. I don't know how long DaVinci editing software will be free, but at the moment it is the best free professional editing program. It is trying to compete with Adobe Premiere Pro giving it out for free so people learn to use it and then buy the full license. Film Express is one of the top free editing softwares right now. Everyone on the web is like hyped about it. Visually, it looks like a complete Premiere Pro and After Effects ripoff. Yes, this program combines two softwares. You can either switch to editing mode or to composition mode, like in After Effects. Even all shortcuts are the same as in Premiere Pro. If it actually works good and looks like Premiere, why would someone buy Premiere at all, you say? For an average user, yes, there are not many minuses. Prozar software runs very quickly, responses quickly, and all actions are smooth. There are also built-in online tutorials. Minuses, in my opinion, are if you want a simple text overlay, you have to create a composite shot and add text there and only then add it on top of your video. For professionals, there are limited amount of export options and the pluses are there is a wide range of effects. Some of them, however, are blocked, but you can find them in pro paid version. And actually you can buy a specific pack, which on one hand is good because maybe you only lack this one little color feature and you don't need to buy the whole package with all effects. Also, not a big minus, but still, you have to share a link to HitFilm Express on social media to download it. Actually, HitFilm Express looks very good. Again, it may take some time to learn how to use it, but man, it's for free. It is fast, should run on standard computer, and it has many useful effects. But what if you want to make a video, but you don't even have a computer? 
as almost everyone nowadays has a smartphone, which is basically a small computer in your pocket, video editing has moved straight to phones. You film it with your phone and you edit it there. There are many free video editing apps, however, most of them will have watermarks, which is no-no for me. Premiere Pro app is for free. It's okay, nothing much, but if you have an Adobe account, it will store your video on cloud. Filmora made the free app for Android as well, Viva Video, KineMaster. You will probably need to experiment there and pick whichever suits you best. Some apps are better than others. Some will have green screen removal and effects, and some will be basic and will only have, for example, text layer and music addition feature. Let's dig even deeper. For those who don't have a fast computer and a phone, there are several cloud-based softwares like VVideo and Panzoid, where you upload your footage on cloud and also you never need to actually download any software on your computer. This is good for those older computers. So for example, in VVideo, you need to create a profile, upload footage with drag and drop method, and then you can start editing from actually any place you are and basically on any computer which has fast enough internet connection. Yes, internet speed is the key using cloud-based softwares. It will affect the upload time, editing speed and exporting time. The video free version unfortunately leaves watermark on your video and has limited export settings and also time. For example, I can only export 5 minutes a month but it is not very expensive to buy. However, I wouldn't suggest to buy it at all. There are much better free alternatives I am mentioning in this video. It's all about not paying for a software. Actually, Panzoid Editor, I would say, is even better. Although it is very basic, it does not have watermarks and also at least works. The biggest minus is that it lacks any export options. It is worth looking into Panzoid graphic template section called Clipmaker, where you can create cool looking intros, inserting your own text and adjusting parameters. Of course, you should only use these templates for inside projects or home use and shouldn't use them on YouTube because they are not completely royalty free. Of course, all these programs are okay to put some shots together. One is better, one is worse, but whenever you plan to edit a serious film or TV show, you most definitely face the problem with software crashing or being slow or not supporting several formats, etc. So that's why you will almost never hear that a professional from the film or TV industry is using a free software. They will be sticking with Adobe Premiere, Avid, Final Cut, but maybe it will change in their future. And in the end I have to say, yes, I edited this video on Premiere Pro, which you cannot legally get for free. However, you can get a full trial version for free for one month, which I suggest you try anyways. Maybe after practicing on free editing softwares, you will decide to upgrade and become a pro. I have to say that I am a real video fan in all forms. I work with video at my job, at home, and I hope this video helps you understand a bit more about this big variety of softwares and find something that suits you best. I would be really happy to hear any further questions or suggestions from you too. Maybe you know more than me? You probably do. And you're using the best free editing software there is in the world, which I didn't mention. I want to hear about it in the comments. I also left links to these editing softwares down below. Please don't be shy and leave a like and also subscribe because small YouTube creators matter.